in anger, who was equally impressed by their creativity and resilience. However, the Jade Emperor's ten unruly princes did not share in their father's love for humanity. Instead, they were jealous and set out to punish the people of Earth. These measly humans can't do anything, the princes complained. They can't fly through the stars, or make it rain, or even travel in time. They don't deserve a tenth of the Emperor's attention. We need to teach them a lesson. So the ten J princes transformed themselves into ten red hot suns. to earth, mercilessly blazing. The simple people of earth screamed in fear. The people threw their hands to the gods to save them, but it was no use. Day after day, night after night, the ten red suns scorched down from smoldering skies. forests charred, the rivers dry, and the crops wilted. Animals died, and people starved. Chaos erupted upon earth. Seeing the pain of the people, Ho-Yi and Chang'e were heartbroken. Brave Ho-Yi knew he had to do something to stop the suffering. He and Chang'e fought long and hard to find a solution. Finally, Chang'e hit upon an idea. She built a bow that was so strong, it could reach the heavens. Filled with justice, Ho Yi set out into the open fields with his bow. Gazing up at the blazing skies, he plucked his arrow from the quiver and took his aim. Ho Yi launched his arrows, one by one. And the ten suns tumbled from the sky, exploding with light as they fell. Holy shot down sun after sun, leaving one left in the sky to give light and heat to the earth. The people shouted with joy. Ho-Yi ruled for many years with Chang'e by his side. He was a benevolent and faithful ruler, and the kingdom flourished. One faded day, the emperor Ho-Yi was hunting deep in the 